also a resident of Seattle District 3. Uh, I'm a transit rider, a bicyclist, and a pedestrian. I've never owned a car, and I'm now a proud holder of an Orca Lyft reduced fare card. So we here are the uh, transit riders delegation, and a number of us have things uh, that we uh, would like to say today. Um, but first we wanted to give you guys a chance to briefly introduce yourselves. Just, Just so everyone mind. knows who you are. Uh, Mike O'Brien, um, and yeah, I'm Mike O'Brien. I chair the land, Planning, Land Use, and Sustainability Committee. How's that? Uh, Nick Licata, I chair Finance and Culture. I'm Sally Bagshaw. I chair Seattle Public Utilities and Neighborhoods, but I'm a big promoter of transit and neighborhood greenways and our pedestrian connections. Very glad to be here with you. You! I'm Michelle Masala. I chair the Yeah, yeah. You! As mentioned, I'm also Vice Chair of the Transportation Committee. I sit on the PSRC, the Petertown Regional Council's Transportation Policy Board. I'm on the Regional Transit Committee of the county, and I'm also on Sound Transit's board. So I have a little bit to do with transit again. Nice. <laughs> okay, thank you. So on behalf of the Transit Riders Union and our delegation, I'd like to thank you all for taking the time to meet with us today. Yeah. <laughs> you! spoke about the importance of affordable public transit for their quality of life, and we laid out a number of goals that we hope to see King County and Metro work towards. We believe that the city of Seattle also has a role to play in achieving these goals. Um, so we're also going to submit to you the written materials that we presented to the county council members. Included are a campaign letter signed by 35 service, advocacy, social justice, and labor organizations, a report detailing our goals, written testimony from transit riders, and petitions from students. We believe we still have a long way to go to make our public transit system truly affordable for all. And we also have a long way to go to build the world-class transit system that Seattle and our whole region desperately needs. So today our delegates will tell you about some of the steps we, need to be, we believe need to be taken to get there. For each person here today, we've met and talked with many transit riders who could not be here because of work, school, childcare, and many other commitments. I hope that as you hear us speak to you today, you'll also hear the voices of the many people just like us who could not be here to speak for themselves. Before I turn it over to the next speaker, I'd like to say something briefly about the Orca Lift Low Income Fair Program. Uh, we in the Transit Riders Union are proud of this program, which we fought for for several years. Uh, it's a great program, but still too many riders don't know about it or have not found it easy to enroll. The $2 million from Proposition 1 uh, is supposed to go to eight low-income riders, and we hope the city of Seattle will use this money effectively to get loaded Orca lift cards into low-income riders' hands. The Transit Riders Union is working with allies who are on the front lines of administering this program, and will be coming back with some specific recommendations as to how this money can best be used. But we're here today uh, mostly because thousands of transit riders in King County still struggle to afford the cost of bus fare, especially since the March 1st fare increases. We believe that everyone in King County should have a basic right to mobility. We also believe in a transit system that keeps fares low for everyone to reward rather than penalize people for making the socially and environmentally responsible choice of riding public transit. So with that, uh, I'm going to hand it over to our next speaker. I hope they know who they are, because I don't. <laughs> 